Hey guys, and welcome back. So today I'm going to be working on my 2023 Project Life intro page. And I'm going to start off by cutting a 4x6 vellum piece of paper. It's just clear vellum, which is a foggy, like off. It's not really clear. It's vellum. So what I thought I'd do here was to create a background using some of the Distress Oxides from Tim Holtz. And I started off with the I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it? It's a flamingo pink color. And so then uh, I'm just using a dauber and creating a background with it. And I'm also using a Distress Oxide Wild Honey and it's a bright yellow. It doesn't look like it from the outside. It looks kind of muted, but it's actually really bright. And I really love the color combo of pink and yellow to start off this album. So um, I'm just kind of dabbing all around this uh, vellum piece of paper. Um, I'm using a stamping platform that I found on Amazon. And then these daubers are from the Ranger, um, Tim Holtz. I'm sure I found them at Joanne. And so I just decided that's, that's what I would do for this background. And then I'm also going to use uh, some Studio Calico uh, stamps from their January kit. This one says Happy New Year. I'm using the archival ink from, it's the Jet Black from Ranger as well. These do stain your stamps, so just be cautious of that in case you didn't know because it's permanent, acid-free, waterproof. It's meant for glossy surfaces and I wanted it to dry. And so I did find this, um, I call it a hockey puck, but it's a press for the stamp tool, the platform, and it kind of just gives you an even crisp um, Press. And so then I used another stamp. Um, that one says to a brand new year. And I just, again, used the same archival ink to, to put underneath the happy new year. I really love that this ink didn't smudge because I was afraid that it was going to smudge, but it didn't. Um, it's, it really, it came out perfect. And so um, I did add some stars um, from those same stamp sets from Studio Calico. And I just kind of decided to add a couple of little stars to each side. Um, I didn't use the stamping tool, the platform, to use it on the stars. And I kind of regret it because I did press a little too hard on that last one. And I smudged it just a little. It kind of just got smushed. That's all. Um, but it didn't bother me too much to like restart all over. <laughs> so I just left it like that. Like, you know what? I'm leaving it this way. But I really love the way it turned out because it did actually um, stick to, I was afraid that it was going to warp the vellum or, you know, it wasn't, it was going to smudge somehow and it didn't. So I just did, I gave it a little uh, quick dry with my embossing tool um, just in case because I didn't want to smudge once I put it in the um, the pocket so it turned out fine I love the way it turned out so here I'm just using one of my tags shameless plug I do have a digital shop it's Veronica creates dot shop and I have a lot of cute little printables and so I'll be using them um, here on my channel and this is just a pink one from our um, Easter, it might be Easter or Valentine collection, but I have a ton of labels. Um, and um, I just stamped celebrate in black ink. Uh, and then I just added it to a photo. We always take a couch photo on New Year's Eve. Um, we always hang out. We have, you know, a charcuterie and we have snacks and we have games and we have music blaring. And it's always just us five um, every single New Year's Eve. We've never gone out. Um, ever since the kids were little, we just kind of stay in on that. There's too many drunk drivers and crazies out at night. <laughs> so we always stay in. I don't know if you're like me and you're kind of afraid and that's just, that's just been our tradition. So we always stay in. And so here I'm just going to trim the excess, uh, tags that I used. I did use a pink one and then I used a yellow one and they fit perfect. They were the same colors as the distress oxides, which I don't know how I did that. It just magically happened that way. So I love it. So I did stitch on, of course, because if there's no stitching, then 
it's not a project of mine. I have to stitch. It's just a must. So I used some old thickers. They were foam thickers um, from the Dear Lizzie collection. And because I was looking for pink and I could not find any pink ones. So instead I decided to just stick them on the stamping tool and I just dabbed them. I dab, 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 dab. Um, <laughs> and I just uh, dabbed them with pink so that they would match uh, the top four by six vellum card. And um, then I went ahead and placed it on the yellow uh, tag that's below the celebrate tag. So those little labels come. They are perfect for like quick little captions or titles or as I'm using it here, it's just a quick title of, you know, Celebrate 2023. And so I did put it on. I really liked it. It was simple. And that was it. So I called that card done. And then I placed that on the bottom of a 6 by 12 uh, pocket page protector from Becky Higgins. It is, I actually have to cut them down. So this is design A, and so I cut it down. And then I am using uh, what you call a um, wink of Stella. It's a little brush with glitter, and this was the silver glitter. I decided to put them on the little stars, um, but I forgot that the Distress Oxides do react to anything liquid. And so then it kind of like smudged one of them and I was like, oh no. So I dried it quickly and I put it inside because I didn't like the way it looked. So I, I made a little boo-boo, but it's okay. Then I got a, a three by four photo of us um, toasting the night. Um, Albert and I had champagne, but the kids had some sparkling juice. Then I just placed a number five, uh, the same thickers, the old thickers that I have because there's five of us so i just placed that in there and called that side done and slipped it into the right side so i hate sometimes that you know thick stuff makes it <laughs> less easy to just glide on in but i got it in and then i just got a studio calico champagne bottle card that was in the january kit i was trying to think if i you know needed something else on it but you know I just left it like that and I stuck it in and I called it done and I really loved how it turned out. The pinks and the and the yellows really were beautiful. So that was pretty much it. So that's my intro page. I'm so glad that you joined me and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Um, so thanks so much.